Honestly, I was like, what's going on? Like, why is he doing this? Like, what's gonna happen to me, you know? It's an incredible story of timing, quick thinking, and courage. Young Isabel openly talks about the day she was abducted in broad daylight. Amazingly, Izzy says she's alive today because of a television show. Live PD Nation, we have an urgent case that needs your immediate attention. It's a terrifying situation and every minute is critical right now. We need your help to bring her home tonight. We never know what's gonna happen next. Like, you, all of a sudden a guy could like, you know, start running or a dog could pick up a random scent or something, you know? When the television show Live PD used to air on the A&E network, Izzy and her mom were super fans. They never missed an episode. We were watching an episode, and I do believe it was Tom Morris that said something to the effect of, um, after we had seen a missing segment, you know, there, you can fight, you should fight to get out of situations like that. That Live PD missing segment with the National Center sparked a family discussion about child safety, how to be careful, and how to protect yourself if anyone ever tries to abduct you. Then, just two weeks later, it actually happened to Izzy. It was about 10 feet between my apartment door and my best friend's apartment door. And he was waiting in the entryway into the third floor. He was taking me down the stairs. All of a sudden, I realized he was opening the door to his apartment, and I started screaming, put me down, put me down. I don't want this. He locked the door behind me, carried me to the bedroom. Izzy was alone with the strange man. Investigators would later discover he was schizophrenic and off his medication. And it was like, and I, all of a sudden, I just clicked in my mind. You have to fight back. You remembered your mm -hmm. conversation with your mom? Yeah. And I just, all of a sudden, instincts kicked in, and yeah. For her to have that wherewithal, that fight, flight, or freeze, and she chose to fight, and you just, you don't meet many people, adults or not, that are able to do that, and she is a kid. Izzy fought her way out and got help. Police arrested her attacker quickly, and then it took more than a year to go to trial. He was convicted of attempted sexual criminal conduct and kidnapping. At sentencing, Izzy bravely spoke about her trauma and surprised the courtroom when she said she forgave him. It's hard when you need help and no one's there to help you. And yes, I know what he did is wrong and I understand completely, but I still do truly forgive him. I want people to hear her story and I want them to think, what an inspiration. I, this is a way for me to talk to my kid at any age and tell them this kind of stuff does actually happen. And you need to be prepared for that. Izzy is my hero because she was able to fight back and to um, take what he was trying to take from her back and to get out and she didn't, she used it as a way to become a stronger. My message to kids is that there is hope and that it's not impossible to escape. And no matter how big, how strong, no matter what, there is hope. Just fight, kick, scream, anything you can do to fight back. Since then, Izzy has grown up a lot. She now identifies as he and goes by the name Spencer. He's doing well. Spencer hopes his story will help others. Hello, I'm Ty Jones. Today is National Missing Children's Day. And throughout the month of May, we've been honoring those individuals and organizations who've shown exceptional dedication to child protection. Today's final award is extra special as it honors the child. I'm so proud to present our final award, the Courage Award. Hi everyone, my name is Spencer, and I'm just here to say that I'm so very grateful for this award. I really hope that I can inspire people to be brave and to be strong. Thank you to the National Center of Missing and Exploited Children for this very great award. Thank you so much.